Hey guys, thought I'd make a quick video here today. Um, what I want to do is kind of show how you can add some color, colored line work to your SketchUp models. So if you're building something in SketchUp, it's really easy to put colors on faces or any material on faces and make that part colorful. But sometimes it's uh, some people don't figure out how to make colored lines actually. Um, so let me kind of show you what I mean here. So I'm just, I went to 3D Warehouse here in the components and searched for the RX Cattle Yards. And we'll, we'll grab a couple of uh, components here. So there's a gate. And here's a post. Okay. The first thing you see is that there's a 3D object and a 2D drawing tag here. So we'll turn the object off. That's the, you know, the 3D view of things. And then the 2D drawing part is just line work that's intended to, uh, if you view it from the, directly from the top, it makes nice line drawings. Um, so that you can print it out on paper really easy. So, oops. <clears throat> so you can see here that the faces here of all these of all these objects have a, a you know a color attached to them you know that there's got that light blue color you can see it here there's the, the darker blue and the orange those are all on the faces but the lines themselves the actual edges here those don't have they're even if they do have a uh, color attached to them like you highlight that line that edge and it shows that it's that blue color but it shows up as black and that is a feature of the style that we're viewing you see all these lines are black and that's showing that it's the default color to black for these lines so let's hop over into styles and I'll show you how you can change that. So right now it's in the construction documentation style, which is one of the default st styles. So let's add a, create a new style. It just makes a duplicate of that. So that one's just, they just put a one on it. We'll call it CD colored lines. Okay, just so we can tell what it is. Now, if you go to edit that style, And on the furthest left here, there's the little box that controls edges. So this controls whether or not you can see all the edges, how uh, heavy they are, um, whether they extend past lines, stuff like that. At the bottom is color, and it gives you three options. One is all the same, which will make it all the same color, and you can choose what color it is. So if you wanted to make them all you know, bright green you could. The next one is by material, which is what we're going to choose. And the third is by axis, which will make them, if they're on red, they'll be red. If they're on green, they'll be green. If they're not on anything, they'll stay black. That's the by axis. What we want to do is by material. Okay. So if you do this by material, you can kind of see this looks a little different because now these lines are actually showing as the material color instead of black. So definitely changes the look of it a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll come down here. We'll just tap into this and highlight it. It's all blue. Press the B button to bring up the uh, materials list. We'll change those to all green color. Okay, green, G for gates. There we go. Okay, now they're green. Now the post here, we'll make that, uh, I don't know, we'll make it blue. There we go. Okay, now that's blue. So let's uh, look at this from, from above in just the 2D view, like we want to be able to print it out on paper. So we'll do, we'll go camera, 
top view. Okay, we'll go to tags and turn off all the 3D object. So there we go. That is what it would look like uh, when you print it out on paper now. It's really nice, good representation of a gate, I think. Um, I like to put these little ends on it to show exactly the clear space on the end of the gate. It helps you to hook things up in the right place. These posts, sometimes I'll make a, a pattern like this to indicate tall posts and just leave it uh, white faces with blue lines for a short post. But uh, a view like that is what it would look like when you go print it out on paper. So that's how you can uh, add some color to uh, you know just a line drawing that you're making with SketchUp. Um, and again, that's all under styles. The styles menu here, the styles tray, basically controls how everything looks. Um, you got edges, you can control faces, you can make them x-ray, you can you know, do different things with them. The background, which is like everything behind your model. So like this, this part of the model here, it's all the background. You can turn sky and ground on. This part is the watermark, so this is like, you know, you can put a logo in the corner, you can put a, um, you know, you can put a picture on it, which is handy sometimes. You can, you know, any kind of imagery you can put on, add, add it there. And then on the other end is the modeling settings. So this is just some uh, stuff like the axes, lines, guides, um, you can color by tag, which is handy sometimes which kind of overrides the material color just to show you what tag everything is on. Um, you can show hidden objects, show hidden geometry, stuff like that. So anyway, that's, uh, that's all under the editing of the styles. So that is that. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope, that, uh, hope it was handy for you. And we'll see you next time, I guess. Thanks.